this is Hal. I'm here from the motherland and today I came to show you something. So, uh, we started already the dry season in Costa Rica, that means the season when, where, when rain is little, so it's a good time to start building. We are going to start to construct some cabins on this area that we are going to show you and we are going to be as eco-friendly as possible and I'm very attracted to the idea of building with clay clay, sand and straw could be cob, could be earth bags it could be bareke so let's, let's tell you about it uh, let me show you first what we have here here we have accumulated some soil from the finca uh, this soil is very rich in clay probably between 20 and 30 percent perhaps more it's very red as you can see it's very good it has a very high content of clay so it's a very good soil to build with and uh, we brought here probably 70 uh, cubic meter of soil and this we are going to make an experiment with this soil we are going to mix it with sand and we are going to make bricks with that mixed and we are going to test those bricks the idea is to try to determine what is the best combination of our soil which has clay and sand and we are planning to build around this little hill over here which has a nice view of the valley on, on this little hill this is the road that takes us to the exit of the finca and comes all the way over here on this hill we are going to build we are going to build several cabins so let's see the bricks we made with this clay well before we see the bricks uh, I want to show you the quality of this soil it's very red it, get, it gets very sticky when we get water with it and that's why I believe uh, it has a high content of clay and actually I made a test with water and yes it's, it's around 20 and 30 percent and it's a very nice soil now we are going to see more or less the area we are going to build the cabins in this area we are going to build the, some cabins we have more area where we can build more but we chose this to start our process of building that's the road and here is a the little plateau we have here I think this is not the highest part of the finca but is the highest I would say is the highest uh, construction place we have actually the highest place place on the finca is on the mountain it's around a thousand meter but uh, we are going we are not going to build there mainly to protect the waters we get water from there so this is the area we are going to build this we are going to have like a little village here that's the mountain and this is the 360 degree view in this area just to have an idea of what is around 22 square meter I made this circle of approximately uh, I believe is 9 meter diameter so you can see the the way the circle is through those sticks 
and string. It looks probably, if we are here and we see that without any wall and anything, it looks very small. But it's not small, it's enough for as a, as a cabin, as a bedroom. Okay, we are approaching the rancho. In the rancho we are going to do this test with the clay bricks, but uh, the kids are there. Before maybe we start that, I would like you to take a look at the view we have here on this spot. It's a little bit windy now, very sunny day, as I say, rainy season is, I would say, is officially over. So the days ahead are warmer nice to build. So now we can, now that you saw the, the view, the panoramic view, we can go to the rancho, just forget that obstacle there. Let's continue to the rancho. Let's see what we have here. The kids are here. And here we have a series of bricks. Kids, could you come here, please? Sure. Okay. These are the bricks? bricks. Yes, please. So the kids are going to. They they made these bricks, and Allegra made these ones over here. Is this up? Yes. Yeah, it's very shiny. There is a lot of glare in this screen. I cannot see well. Okay, Allegrita, could you tell us what you have in there? Could well, you come I, down a little bit? I Thank have you. 30% clay and um, uh, more sand. You have more sand than clay, that's good. And it's really uh, crumbly, as you can see, there's some large crumbs over here. Yes, this is very crumbly and it has crumbs. If you touch it, we can actually see how it crumbs, no? All those crumbs. And nothing beholding very together. Really. What do you expect from these bricks, Allegra? Do you think they are strong enough? I don't think so. You don't think so, yeah. And this is the straw we use to to Pretty try to, much. to get that together, yes. Now, we have another one here. Which one is this one? Uh, who say this one? Max. Oh, that was mine. Max, why are you not here in camera, please? Could you be in camera, please? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So these have an equal amount of clay and sand. Okay. Disclaimer, the clay is not pure clay. It's uh -huh. pure clay soil which is found around here, so it can be mixed with things. So it's small bits of gravel and rock. Exactly. So this is not pure, pure clay we took, as I, as I showed you before. This is the, the clay soil we have here in the Fink, which seems to be very good for this. Any particular thing you could tell about this one, Max? It's the best. You think it's the that. best? Yes, definitely. Okay, we are going to see how when, gonna break easily, when we test it. Now, what we have here, uh, this is Rancy. my set of bricks. Let me, can you go? Yes. Yeah, I'm here. So these, this is 30% uh, sand and 60% clay, majority clay. 67%, yeah. Yeah, and as you can see here, uh, it's less crumbly than this majority sand one. Uh, less crumbly than this, than the 50-50 one. Uh -huh. Less that? cracks. I think it's like the personally the best bricks. Uh -huh. Yeah, it have, why you say less crack compared with what? The 100% uh, clay bricks to the right. I see, let's see the 100% clay. Ag again, a, a disclaimer here. It's not 100% clay, it's 100% our clay soil of the finca. So what, who, who can explain what we see here? Uh, well, there's plenty of fractures and cracks in, in these bricks. Yes, we it can. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's not dusty nearly as much as the other bricks that contain sand, but it's cracking, it's crumbling, it's uh, not holding that very well together as you can see here. Yeah, it could. Very hard and solid. If uh, we we try, we try to put the same amount of um, straw or in all of them. Probably when we have more clay, we need more straw. 
but also the clay as it gets wet expands and what happens when it gets dry it, it con contracts and cracks exactly because that expansion and contraction makes it crack if there is nothing like in between to hold it like in the case of sand now we are going to test these bricks by dropping it the same height in each case what is the reference height? I believe that we agreed beforehand there will be my shoulder height. Okay, then let's go to Allegra, where Allegra is. Okay, standard, yeah, let me, okay, standard range max and Allegra. From yeah, we'll have to drop it on his foot. Before you do that, Allegra, let's take a look at the, at the, at the floor. Look at all the crumbs of this brick. You can see how it comes easily, no? Okay, Allegra, let's go now to drop that thing from shoulder height, shoulders height uh, Max's shoulders height put it alongside but the, the mm, make, make sure uh, Max, Max, could you come put a little bit more? yes no? ok Allegra, go destroying our work look here, go, go here Allegra close to Max, close to Max, close to Max but don't let it touch the cloth so it had to be feel f free fall mm -hmm. nothing along the way to make sure that's a step on ok, cloth. when you are ready Allegra and Wow, look and at that. Disintegrated. Hmm? I don't want a house made of that, for sure. Look at that. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> you can toss it off the cliff now. It's okay, Allegra. No, no, leave it there. Leave it there. We are going to take pictures of this. Okay, now, Renzi, can you try the next can I one? I break this more solid. Yes, probably. But let's try it. Now let's continue. Oh, we can save it for another the 50, Yeah, we 50, can save 50. it for another trial. This is the 50 50 break? 50 50 percent break. My own handcrafted. That's what the Max made. Alright, so shoulder height. Fro shoulder height. He's gonna drop it in three, two, one, go. Mm. Wow. It got together better than the sand one. It got together, yeah, that's right. It's, look at it. there are three big chunks there. There are three big chunks that remain together. But if oh, on one side, it really crumbles. Okay, can you put it back there? Yeah, good. Now we are going to do the best one. The sixty-six percent, sixty-seven percent, our clay soil. Look at this solid beauty. Okay. She ain't gonna crack old Betsy. Okay, let's okay. go. Betsy, I believe in you. Oh, right there. <laughs> among all, among the three we saw, which one is behaving better? This I one. think mine. Yes, it's, it's definitely. No, a little best. bit more clay. I think it's showing a correlation that the more sand, the, the better worse. it is. Actually, I think mine is the best. Yeah, I see. It looks like a... Looks like a space Wait, Nancy, what percentage of sand is yours? Uh, more clay, more sand. Oh, no. No, more clay, less sand. Sorry. That means more clay there is. Okay, now let's try the, the, the last pure, one. Just the, like the pure... The, the pure. 100% our clay soil. Very light. Just kidding, I don't think. It's going hold up. Okay, let's do the test. And three, two, one, lift off. Wow. Abby. Oh. Yes, what happened here? So it there's a correlation. together. So let's take a look at from the big to from the back to the front. Here we have the first one. This is thirty three percent clay. The best one. More sand than clay. This is I have to clean all this up. This is, yes, we, we have to. This is a 50% our clay soil. This is 67% um, our clay soil. And this is 100% our clay soil. How the most? So, very inter interesting here. Hey, kids. Yes. So which one would you would you build a house out of? Yes. Well, it may not look aesthetically pleasing with all the cracks, but how can we get rid of the cracks? Adding I'm sand. sand. So how much sand? A, a low amount. A little oh. amount. No, no, thirty-three percent. Maybe lower. And also, what can we do? We can maybe increase the straw amount. The straw amount. Mm -hmm. So then. We are going to keep on trying. We are going to make, to mix 
we said a little bit less now, between 33 and 0% and sand, and then tries to see if we can get rid of the cracks. But also, kids, what happened with those bricks so big that we made? Um, Took forever to dry. Take forever to dry, yes. We are going to make a small sam a smaller samples that doesn't take that long to dry. Right now, it's, it's better weather. It could take less, but, but for what we want, I think we can do smaller bricks. Thank you, thank you, Allegra, for everything. Yeah. Thank you, Renzi. Yes. Thank you, Max. No problem. Can you say, can you get together and say bye bye to everyone? Bye bye. Ah, by the bye way, bye. before bye bye, why the same height in all the tests? Because we don't want the test results being messed up because none of them are the same height. We exactly. Have results. We no. try to keep. Are you this, um, we try to keep the same, this, the experiment uh, conditions more or less the same for everyone. So we only need to conclude about the amount of clay and sand. <laughs> and probably we need to do a strategy. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. 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 After this, can we toss the bricks off the cliff? Yes, you can. Bye-bye. Yeah, okay, toss the non-broken ones off the cliff.